Hello everyone and welcome to Adios, a game where you play as a pig farmer and there's something about the mob involved. I'm excited. <laughs> That's the full pitch. <laughs> it's made so, by mischief. <laughs> so stay tuned for some high octane action I with am, some pigs. Look, I'm freaking excited. Yeah, I really no, no, no. Am. This seems literally right up our alley, like a short, cool little like... I don't know, a niche situation like this too. I feel like we always get the most excited about like, why did you make a game about a pig farmer? Yeah, like, who, let's go. how did you end up there? But I can't wait to find out. You <laughs> All ready right. to play? Yeah, yeah, let's dive in. Let's do this. Hi, pigs. Adios. Oh, it's first person. <gasps> we are on a swing. We are on a swing. On a porch. This already reminds me a little bit of like, Hello Neighbor. A little. Tell right? him I'm done. Tell the mob man I'm done. Okay, maybe. I quit. But I'll work one last job. Before <laughs> <laughs> the confession. Okay. I can't do this anymore. Oh, there's voice acting. What? This. What, mornings? No. All of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay? Different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just... You know, done with this. Oh. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. You wanna... Gross. Uh... You wanna what? No. I don't know how to answer that. I don't know what he's I, asking. I don't know what the question is. I'm gonna say... I would say yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Oh. Here you go. Damn. So, you, uh... You're done, huh? Yep. You do understand what that means, right? Yeah. Does no. it mean, Does anything? It mean anything? Yeah, let's see if we can get more information out of him. Does it have to mean anything? Can you throw it in? Doesn't work like that. <laughs> you know that. Good stuff. Man, I must be getting forgetful of my old age. Can you turn it up uh -huh. just a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Nothing I can do to change your mind. Right. Um, I'm afraid not. You're welcome to try. You're welcome to try. Let's yeah. see if you can give us yeah, a compelling you are argument. You're welcome to try. <laughs> well, let's go get some coffee, talk things over. Come on. This is so shockingly okay. civil. It is, inc Whoa. It is okay. incredibly civil. That I was, was not expecting this to be no. civil in any capacity. Very uh, mellow, peaceful, omelet-eaten mob man. I think the mob man's just like, it's not my call. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. real die. Smells so delicious like as always. <laughs> ah, Sadie was the real cook. Sadie. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home-cooked eggs. Hope you don't mind, uh... Left out the bell peppers this time. Oh, you'd like yes, that, Gina? thank you. <laughs> Can't stand them. Thank you. Me, Me neither. <laughs> Me I neither. Like the bell pepper. <laughs> Not to change what? the subject, but how long have we been doing this for, you think? Fifteen years, just about. It's a lot of years. Ah, uh, summer There's of no seventy-eight. Coffee in here. <laughs> Why did we meet? What was it? Um, I needed cash. Bill was sick. I'm gonna say Bill was sick. Bill was sick. sick yeah. well, it seems like we're being Bill was honest. Sick. And you couldn't afford a doctor. We couldn't. No, we could not. So you needed my help. <sighs> you were oh, gods. Food. Yum. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, yeah. and Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when Delicious who should come in through that door but you. Yeah, I thought Jimmy could help. I thought Jimmy could help. Jimmy was always bragging about connections back home. I thought he could help. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed, made a deal. We all agreed. Ugh. Yeah, but that was 15 Anyone years ever ago, tell you pal. you're no good at making coffee? Oh, empty. Use the Starbucks Vias. Sadie did. Paid for Sadie by did. Starbucks Vias. No, all the time. I'm not sponsored by Starbucks Vias. Thought you'd have got it better by now. <laughs> well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshires are. Mine are red waddle. Red waddle. American breed. Not a lot of them out What's there. What does red waddle look like? That's so. I hope it's mm -hmm. red. Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Mm, long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. Red pig confirmed. <laughs> you and me both. They are literally just a red pig. It's How interesting. Huh. Funny name. Yeah. Like I said, American breed. 
nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep him alive. And that tastes good. <laughs> you aren't wrong. You know, the other day, I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <sighs> it, maybe, maybe. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. They are. You believe Smigs that? Are so Smigs. Really, Smigs. Smigs, Smigs are, are so super, part. Uh, you yes, going somewhere are with so this? Smart. I also love the contradiction of I wanted to do my part in keeping them alive. Also, and they, they taste, taste good. Yeah. You uh, going somewhere with this? Nah, just thinking about my food. What's there to think about? Nothing, I suppose. Just never thought about it before. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. I'm a, pigs ain't I'm like a pig us. Boy. Like... Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um... What do you say I accompany you On today? Farm? You gonna convince us? Okay. Seriously? What, help out with the farm chores? We're just... Shovel manure, milk goats. I mean, stuff if we're like a that. pig that's about to die. Sure. Always wanted to know how to yeah, milk exactly. goats. How we plan as long as you're future, okay exactly. with shoveling manure first. What the plan is. Mm -hmm. What about your How we do dick? what we do. Mm -hmm. like... Protege. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm -hmm. Ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. I guess if you if you can convince us not to do this, he's technically saving our life in his mind. Yeah, yeah. well, you know what I what I find so interesting about this guy is how calm oh and like God. business like he is. Sorry, I know. Well, I just choose to ignore it. <laughs> 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 He'll destroy the door, and we just let it's the dogs on the other side of the door. Okay, feeling so we lonely. have we have we got a bunch of tasks. Points of interest. Are they inside or outside? No, they're outside. Okay. They're there's no way to stop this from happening. Okay, so it's all right. it's completely choosing to ignore okay. them. We're you guys are same. irrelevant to me. <laughs> I do not know about your existence. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Have you now? Figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? So probably no one knows how to do our job other than us. I guess so. I mean, our job appears to be don't pull the cord. Don't pull the cord. See what Leave happens. Leave it dark? Leave it dark. Got a light? Ta-da. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Pop machine. Soda. Here, soda I figured machines. you had a deep, dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep, dark secret. This here is one of my Wait, hobbies. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, collecting them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Uh, it depends. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Root mm, bear. Ro root bear. And they're all ro they're all root bear machines. Uh, you got any hobbies? Uh, yeah. What what are what are your thoughts, sir? Do we know this? Other name? than feeding human thighs to pigs. Uh, no, I don't think we do. Okay. You uh, you got any hobbies yourself? Mm, me? Well, well, who else am I talking to? I mean, who doesn't have hobbies? Well, what's yours? Uh, reading, I guess. Reading isn't a hobby. Yeah, of course it's a hobby. What do you think libraries are for? Well, everyone reads. Heck, I read the paper every day. But reading isn't a part of your personality. It's just a thing people say they do so. when they I don't mean, have do any other hobbies. You happen to have about as really niche a hobby as, mm -hmm. as there is. I knew so. someone who read every single day. She said she loved the smell of books. The texture of the of the pages on her fingers. She even bound books. Her hobby wasn't reading; it was books. I guess that's you put too valid. much thought into this. Well, I guess so. hobby I, I, I is something you do because you're passionate like about it. No. If it's something you're not wholly in love with, then you're still trying to figure out what your hobby is. So, you got a problem with my passion? Well, no, no. You said I guess. No one says I guess when they love okay, something. Okay, I do it's kind of agree. Yeah, I, I think it's a different hobby. definition yeah. than what I would call a hobby, but still. Love's a requirement for many things. Uh, and so you love fixing soda machines. Mm-hmm. That is correct. Why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. I mean, don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when 
things was bad or I was anxious, well, I, I don't know. Well, Sadie's Sadie's sister, wife. I want you yeah, to ask, told me that. Uh, or was his wife? Yeah. Told me that it was all right to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay. And I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were. And I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Didn't you miss her? Of course I did. Still do. But I don't know. Not Slurp everybody up. needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I cried. Maybe that movie about the boy and his dogs. Marley and me. Oh, always <laughs> cry for that one. Yeah. Or, or Homeward Bound. Innocent. I was thinking yeah, um, when a dog where dies, that always grows. moves me. To All techni yeah. uh, a dog's miracle, a, a dog's dream, a do <laughs> the one with that really bad then commercial. Kept his dog's sister. purpose. I don't then, think the dog dies. I don't know. I Maybe. think she got offended. I, I would so cry as if Might she loved cry. Sadie That's more fair. than me, and, and she made me feel like I was that I was something wrong. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't true. There was nothing wrong with me. I just didn't. I, I didn't. I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, I... No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know... I figured if someone's got to know... This is my quiet little hobby thing I do to help me work out my worries. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. Looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of it. Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. This is so there's, specific. Uh, this is so lovely. It's really lovely. There's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Also, mm, these vocal that? performances are really great. Really yeah. Good. It's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? <laughs> Grab yourself a Hot nice, machine. refreshing drink of soda Freaking every so often, you big West. dummy. <laughs> but I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time together. So he's ready oh, to die. Is what come it sounds on, like. memento. Let's well, keep this train this rolling. It, we can right? work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Well, either this guy does it, or this guy tells the person. I mean, he's still pulling the trigger. You know what I mean? Even if he's not literally pulling the trigger. Think it over. What's next? Because he's like assessing, right? Yeah. At, at least. Well, you know, he came here oh. to. Oh, okay, these, these are, are all like, of our goals. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Um, my my assumption is I could have the relationship wrong, but like this guy just seems like a pawn. This guy is just his job is to kind of make sure the work gets done. Well, no, here. because he, the other dude, and this guy all made a deal together. I mean, he's probably not. He's not like the the head of the organization. Yeah, my my prime. I mean, he not a pawn. Like he's he's someone, yeah. but he's a piece in the cog, just like we are. And his job is to come and get us to. Whoa, stop, Disney! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could make him spin faster. <laughs> sorry, um, buddy. <laughs> but like his job is to just make sure everything gets done. So if our slice of it doesn't get done, he has to tell someone, hey, it didn't get done because he quits. And if he well, quits... Well, also, I don't think you get to quit. It's not exactly No, but that's it's what I think about, it is. Like, yeah. if he tells someone that we quote-unquote quit, that's it for us. Yep. But... Uh, so it's, it's one of his things where it's like, it's actively out of my control. Like, if you quit, that's your call. So maybe I'll just try to convince you not to. Maybe. I don't know. I... I don't know. Or maybe he'll pull it. You I don't know. No, I, I, th that I genuinely don't know. That's not me like, oh, I can run. They're strangely such like a, a nice rapport to. Yeah, they like, these two know each other. I think that's well, what. They've been like, working together for 15 years. I know. You know? Um, and prior to this, if he hadn't to quit, there was no danger in the job. I mean, there's danger just in what it is, but. Hey. Let's play some games. Horseshoes. Why horseshoes? Hmm, why not? Hmm? What? Why not? Uh, why not? Well, why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? <laughs> this is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool halls? 
I don't even know if they had those when I was a Poodles kid. Poodles are cool. Uh -huh. Go away. Yeah. Time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all but that But I guess it uh, is like saying, ah, you got arcades. And it's like, I mean, we do, uh, so but... you yeah. play horseshoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or read a good book. Develop photos you took for yourself. Go fly fishing. Mm -hmm. It sounds idyllic. Quaint. Uh, it's lonely, too. I'm just so tired. Because it's wrong. It's wrong. It's... I can't... Mm. I can't say these. Mm. Oh, it's lonely, too, I guess. I guess Interesting. Those, are, those are his thoughts. Inner but thoughts, not things ones, he wish yeah. he could say. That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Ah. Uh. Never was one for crowds. Because it's thought you said you were lonely. Okay. Interesting. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. See, well, you gotta go up. She, yep. uh, nobody else could really see me. Understand what really I was. Really not good at horseshoes. How do you figure? Oh, oh, oh hold. Oh, you, you, you're well, right. After Saigon, well. when I got home, <laughs> all these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting Where or whatever. Where are we getting these points from? Oh, that was pretty good. That was a good I roll. I never felt more alone in all my life. After Saigon. I was home. I should have been happy, and I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost friends too, right? Yeah, but when I got home, it, it was dark, and there was Sadie. Oh, right me. over it. Porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Uh -huh. High school sweetheart, wow. Yeah, I thought, I wonder, I, I thought I wonder he'd have married her by on. then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. I'm assuming pretty recent. Why not? Yeah. You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you. Especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the that. burned yeah. out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon, of the Gordon family, went to high school with us, but hey, we uh, still creamed him. Yeah. Well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. The poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback. Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who wouldn't want all this? <laughs> Man, yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. <laughs> Star quarterback had some health exemption. Yeah, of course. Didn't mm -hmm. get drafted. Uh huh. Uh, so then, where was he? Running his dad's business, trying to win her heart. <laughs> didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there, but well, you know Sadie. Uh huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, so they including buy it the two hundred acres surrounding that hill. Right. And he built a house. Well, a house. W wait. But that house that has house? been burned down. The very so same. That's Gordon yeah. property. Like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? Uh, I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up. Ooh, that's rough. So, what happened to the Just wealthy Gary I Gordon line? and his yeah. mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so, and he went inside, and he just disappeared. Huh. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm, and boom, no more Gary Gordon. What? Did no they ever find a body? I don't they... know. Like, isn't huh. that it burned down because Maybe of lightning? Maybe he was or... lonely, too. Maybe. Yeah. All right. We had an you achievement, win. baby. What next? Call a sniper. Um, this just reminds me of, uh, there's a... a hotel in the mountains near where we grew up mm -hmm. that burned down um and you can see the shell of it still yeah, there you can go clamber yeah. through the shell of it and see like where the dining room was and things it just this that looks very similar to it it to really me. does yeah. um and it's it's wild to me when places like that 
just kind of stay. When they, yeah, well, yeah. if no like, one's gonna, you know, it takes money to clean it completely, it takes money to rebuild it, so if yeah, no so one wants to put in the money, them. yeah. It's like, and in this case, I guess, like, that's still all land all owned by the same family. They just kind of let they're it. They're just like, yeah, what are the we The horse! Do? Oh, yeah. Hello, can we, come here. Can we ride? Can we, can we pet its tractor? nose? What's that got to do with anything? Yeah. What's that got to do with anything? That well, horse's yeah. nose. Pigs, I guess. Goats, too. Some fellas oh. have chickens and cows. That's, good. that's all that's well good and horse. good, but what's the point of a horse? What do you mean the, the point of a God's horse? God's most beautiful creatures. What, you just keep a horse around yes. because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, I just wanted to take uh, its nose and go check. Go, 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 got a saddle for him so you don't ride him. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? This is actually well, very revealing about your character, sir. Horse. <laughs> Gotta have a horse. Uh, and... <gasps> What's this about them being beautiful? Look at beautiful. his dead eyes. No. He's so beautiful. beautiful is <laughs> Spindly I legs and bloated bellies and <laughs> weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. Aren't you going to say something? Pet the Pet horse. The horse. Oh, yes, 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 yes. One day. One day maybe this fella will understand. There you go. There you go. Good horse. Uh, horse. To me. I mean. Oh, no. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. So he's very much like all animals have their use. Suit yeah. Everything must have its use. And he can't all imagine right, here a you thing go, boy. existing without, without a use. Yeah. yeah. Going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? So Oof. the idea of us quitting, he's like, well, for what? what? Yeah, you're, you're, you have a utility. Yeah. This guy's really... Honestly, this guy's very interesting. I, I to Both of them are really he, interesting, he yeah. He thus far runs by a logic that makes a lot of sense to me. Mm-hmm. Um, even with the hobbies. It's yeah. like he just doesn't understand what's the utility of building a, a, um, a vending machine. Yeah, just it's working like, on it's not anything about that. that doesn't yeah. provide service to anything or anyone. We gotta feed some goats or milk some goats. Milk the goats. Oh, and manure too. He's gonna love that. He won't like that on his pretty suit. He will not like that on his pretty suit. What? Oh, okay. The goat. The, the goat, let me move. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yeah, you also have goats. I yeah. do also have goats. It's a salt lake. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Bill raised a neuter. How do I? I died. What? Well, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Is there... hmm. Maybe, Is that, maybe uh, wait a judgment okay. I hear? Maybe the goat will come through the door. <laughs> no judgment, Good no. Uh, I'll just wondering. Move from Why the goats? bucket. This is where goat I need milk. to milk. Ah, it's stressing me out. Profit in that. There we go. Oh, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties, and you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now, and you Brilliant. still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just gonna look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I don't like them. They like to play, they'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Yeah, they're cute. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try Let's that. Let's do it. Let's well, do it, man. Here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so they'll just walk up. Come here. Mm, here they Hello. are. Hello. Come on. Now they all just take their positions goat. here like Hello they goat. should. You've got, got devil feet eyes. All right. Always <laughs> a friend. You take a seat there. Uh, uh, not very comfortable. Yeah. Farms are not very comfortable, my I friend. I suppose not. That's not their yeah. thing. Nope, that's now not that what they're seated, designed to do. All you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And I pull? Goat? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of... 
rhythmically squeeze yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the rest of your fingers. Me too. We did a lot Gently of camp stuff on farms. Mm -hmm. Pushing the milk out. Ah. Like this? Yeah. Just auto milking. <laughs> Look at this like auto milking that, yeah. goat. Look at that goat. All you gotta do is do that. <laughs> it's missing the bucket though. He <laughs> is a little bit. This it's okay, man. Nice. You don't have to be relaxing. perfect. Well, I think I could get used Can to we this. Do anything? Why don't Milk you? That goat? Say what? Mm -hmm. Why not get used to this? Why? Then come work with you? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Some folks might take issue with that. I think that'd be a well, great time. Can't make yeah. everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Shoot him. Shoot who? Oh, with hey, milk. Hey, <laughs> gross. Oh, I, c I could have been doing this the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, there's, there's... It's a different button. X is the button I'd been using. How interesting. <laughs> Somehow the dog got through. I'm going to get the dog out. Gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? He says I'm not happy. Well, I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well, that does it for the goats. Farewell, goats. <laughs> it was Still, fun while uh, it lasted. Thinking it was about fun what while I've been it saying. lasted. Who's going to take stopped. care of your goats? Have you made your, your plans, no. bud? No, I have not. No, no, he has not. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I just want to know that somebody's going to take care of his horse. I don't know if we know that. <laughs> nope. Look, I respect your choices. Uh, this clearly has been a career path that you want to get out of, and that's super valid, but also... Um, Someone should help. But yeah. yeah. At a certain point, seems like... What's the wheelbarrow for? Hauling. Hauling what? Shit. Maybe we'll work. Shit. Shit. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now. It's October, but... We're gonna put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Yes, we. Uh -huh. You'd say you wanted to help? Get your shovel. Yeah, guess I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. Yeah, scoop. We'll shovel scoop it in, shit. wheel it yes. out, dump it, and we're good. Why and am I doing you this? Do Come this on, do your every thing. Every day. Mm-hmm. Most every day. And you wanna keep doing this every day. It's my routine. Shoveling shit. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> that, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. I was about to say, you're complaining you oh, yeah? transport dead bodies to us. <laughs> I remember. Hmm. I remember. Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? Uh, I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. We went back to Nam? Apparently. Sigh. Yeah. I don't know where I'm taking What me. happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not gonna talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. In a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home, you went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. Did that take you? Yes. And okay. I, I had this uh, moment, a moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? Uh, the Vietnamese? The Russians? No. No. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam, that was our first time that close to war. So, uh, I figured... Uh, you figured? You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Well, why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures oh, I how could. how interesting. Mm -hmm. I fought in a different way. Did you win? 
We pulled out a name, didn't we? I am the hero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling shit. I mean, yeah. yeah. Shoveling shit. Huh. How interesting these, these guys are. These two characters are. are really fascinating to me. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. Not I don't, this, though. I, yeah, but you know what this really is. told me it would just be a conversation. I didn't. I didn't well, know what it ever seen meant. A tree yeah. like it. A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, yeah, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This. Is an American chestnut tree. It is a grand oh, tree. Hey, Saul. Oh, uh, hi. He's telling us about his American chestnut I tree. Expecting another American, person. Yeah, who are you? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. Pays to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Uh, um, I, I, I'm a little lost so is this here. This an, an oh, endangered well, tree. A couple weeks back, Saul so. came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saw I had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. <laughs> and most American chestnuts had died off. It's true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 huh. or so. Did you know about that? The no, but it's like the blight. Colorado That's beetles that killed all like the trees. This. Yeah. A couple yeah. hundred thousand trees. I do know about that Four one. Billions. Yeah. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Whoa. A lumberjack suddenly out of That'd work in places like West Virginia. Scary. Those economies never recovered. Uh, I thought West Virginia was coal country. And logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the general here making nuts year round. And I feed them to the reds and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Mm. Seems lonely. Well, it is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. Oh. So oh, wow. I look after him and he looks after me and I don't know. Sadie and I we we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Mm. Brody's grave was enough for me. Oh, so that must but, not be safe. Uh, I don't know. I guess so. I thought about having to moved. I, I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just a... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. Look, this I might be my last that. conversation. Just, yeah, <laughs> and this is something that clearly it's a part means a lot. Me. Yeah, yeah, it means a lot to him. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise is sad. Someone ought to know That's about the first the tree. time you taught about, about, about that, though. About this. Oh, Jimmy would cut it down. He would. Yeah. He would. Yeah. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please. Let me rest here. And if there's a way... A way to... Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Hey... You got more to show me, right? 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow, the relationship between these two people is fascinating. When you're doing a job that has this high of stakes, but you still form a relationship because it just becomes the yeah, mundane. I mean, working, like, yeah, it's their, the it's garage, their job. Huh? It's their lives. No okay, wait, you want to pause it real quick? Garage. Yeah. And, I, and continue next time? This has been such a fascinating I, start to I'm this. so deep in this. I, I love it. Um... I love when people make cool, like character pieces out of I games. I love good I love character it. pieces. I love just good character Me pieces too. in general. And this is—it's it, really fascinating to kind of like the fact that it's a game means you are both physically and mentally with this person in a way that you wouldn't be if it was a film or or anything else. Yeah, um, totally. And I just think that's really really neat. Um, and I can't wait to see where it goes. All right, then we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.